Hello everyone, how are you all? In today's video, we are going to set up a image selling PHP script, another PHP script of image selling and the PHP script name is ghost talk. You can find the ghost talk script on the codecanon.net website. And trust me guys, this is so amazing PHP script for image selling purpose. But friends, this script has a error like you can't upload below than 1024 into 768 pixel images. I asked to the author about this issue, but he told me that time that it can't be possible this time. But finally, I researched on it and I found a solution for this. And using this solution, you can absolutely upload below than 1024 size images. Like if you have a 10 KB, 20 KB, 30 KB images as well, you can upload on this PHP script without any issue. Before moving ahead, if you're new to this channel then hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon now let's get started hello everyone this is Siddharth and you are watching Sekno first of all open your browser and type here codecanon.net website and in the search bar section just type here go stock and you can find uh, the go stock script here so simply click on it I'm going to open it on the another tab so you can see I already purchased this script and if you want to purchase then this script is in $69 but I have an offer for you I already purchased this script in $69 if you want to purchase then you can message me on telegram on my email address everything mentioned on my website sacno.com you can find there then I will give my license to you and the scripts as well and also in future there will be any update you can tell me to uh, provide the update files then i will provide update files for you as well and i will give you this script in half of the actual price uh, which is 69 and the half you can count okay so purchase this script after that uh, just download your files here so my files has been downloaded now i'm going to log into my server doesn't matter what hosting you have you can set up this php script on any type of server so i'm going to log into my shared hosting cpanel I'm going to set up this PHP script on a subdomain. So let's create a subdomain. You can set up this script on your main domain as well. But I'm going to set up this on my subdomain. So I have the subdomain like api.themesbot.com. So let's take this. So this is the API themes bot folder. So I'm going to my advanced section and the file manager this is the folder so you can see some files i'm going to delete all these files okay now uh, go to your file manager so we have downloaded this script now extract this i'm just going to extract files now my files has been extracted now you can see uh, there are four folders like mysql where you can find your uh, database and other is your script and your updates but we are going to install a fresh website so we only need this one folder which is the script folder let's archive these all files just click on zip and ok now all files has been archived and now we are going to upload uh, this file uh, this zip file to our server just select and go to your files folder this is the file and select this file now uh we are going to manage our mysql as well so just go to your mysql database section and here create a new database i'm going to uh, give it a name like go stock and just click on the create database button now your database has been added Now next we have to add the user to the database. So our user is Vikash here. This is our user and our database is, is GoStock. Where is the GoStock? This is the GoStock. Okay. Now click on the add button and click on the all privileges option. Uh, this is saying you are giving all permissions to this user to fetch your database. Okay. So now click on the make changes. This will save your database settings. Note down two options like your username and your database name. Okay. Now our database has been created successfully. And now let's go to PHP my admin option to import our database. On the other hand, you can see our files has been uploaded. 
now just reload your folder and here just extract your all files in your folder so our files has been extracted just close this and reload this you can see our all files here and our database has been open just move to your database which one we have created uh, you can find the ghost stock uh, database here web curry ghost stock so click on it to open and now just to import your database by clicking to your import button here choose the file this code canyon and this my sql folder and just select your file and go now your database has been imported successfully now we need to open our domain here you can see uh, access denied for user db localhost so we are going to our file manager and the documentation section of this php script and just clicking on index here in the installa uh, installation section just this is the url just copy this installer and script option from here and just pasting here and just enter now you can see we have redirected to the installer option of this php script where you can see our php version is 7.4 version required 7.4 all these also tick if you find any uh, cross here so make sure your php extension is properly installed or not if your extension is missing then you can ask your hosting provider to install that for you now going to setup database we just need to type our database name our all details i'm going to type here now i have filled all the details as you can see my database name my username and my host name and my username password and my app name and the url of your website which on which website you are going to install your php script and the domain to uh, log in your admin panel and just simple click on the install button this will install your php script now you can see my php script installation completed successfully and this is your username and this is your password okay this is one time password after that you can change this password according to your needs and uh, just go to uh, admin panel option this is my admin panel and if you click on the view site option this will redirect to your main site which you can see this is my main site okay now we are going to upload a demo file here just click on it and i'm going to download section like i have this file which is uh, 590 into 300 pixels dimensions just going to this is saying the photo uh, the photo must be greater than to or equal to 1600px so we are going to our admin panel to change these settings you can see in our general settings option and my limit option here you can see uh, our file size allowed you can uh, set it to 100 mb or 50 mb or 40 mb depends on you and this is our main setting here which is saying minimum width height photo so you can see our minimum height here 1024 into 768 but we have a photo which is of 590 into 300 dimensions so how we can upload this photo on our server so for that just go to your files here okay now go to your resources and go to your view section now you can see we have our option uh, of minimum width height photo in our admin panel so we are going to our admin panel now what is the option is this option is limits so we are going to find the limit file here so this is our limits.blade.php so we are going to open it and here just find the option of this min width height photo so we are going to search 1024 in our file so i'm going to search 1024 here come here but this is the file size allowed we don't need file size allowed vector we don't need minimum width height image we need this option just copy this 
and paste it here and change the size like i have a size of 100 into uh, sorry uh, we are going to take a smaller size 50 into 10 okay this is our minimum width and uh, we are also going to set it to 50 into 10 also this 50 into 10 okay and just save changes now see the magic just refresh our admin panel and here just select this 50 into 10 option and just save now you have successfully saved and come to your upload section and just refresh your browser and we have an image of 590 into 300 now we are going to select this file now you can see our file has been selected successfully now we are going to select a minimum size image let's make this file smaller just going to add it and just going to resize and what was our um, maximum size is 50 and just uh, sorry my maximum yeah my maximum size is 50 that's just going to resize it and just save this now you can see our file is uh, 50 into uh, 25 so i'm going to select this now you can see this file has been also selected okay using this setting you can upload any size of file without any interruption and about its admin panel you can successfully change all of these settings like your payment settings your profile settings member settings your themes and your css photos announcements maintenance mode purchases like your general settings you can change your website details in your general settings like your name like your uh, terms condition links privacy policy links license details link to blog and different language what language you want to show your website and if you want from your users to sell images on your website then you can select this option otherwise you can uh, select only admin or who can upload you can select all members or otherwise you can select only admin so these are some basic settings which you also can do this according to your requirements if you like this video just hit the like button and if you like the solution of minimum size photo then hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon and share this video with your friends and family so friends enough for today see you in our next video with the interesting content till then goodbye take care